Scott Dorval with your Idaho News 6 forecast. Good evening again, everyone. It was a little better day to get out to the pools. Uh, Roaring Springs, a little less smoke in the valley. We're with yellow air quality, which isn't bad at all, but uh, less smoke overall. But there are still fires that continue to burn as we're watching Don Nelson and with that official showing fires in every direction when you're standing in Long Valley. It might be okay, okay in Long Valley, but a lot of smoke nearby, certainly. I want to show you what's going on here. And this visible satellite picture so we can see the ground as well below the cloud cover. This is Craters of the Moon over here. See all that shows up as dark? See this dark patch right here? This is the paddock fire burn scar. That is a huge burn scar showing up here. Uh, again, just completely black in this region here. So but not much smoke coming from this now as fire a little bit more in control here. Notice what's happening with the snag fire. This one is burning uncontrolled. Latest update now over 10,000 acres for this fire alone. 10,500, I believe, 0% containment, and it is burning like crazy. And there's the smoke heading on off to the northeast. We're going to look at that fire from the view from Tamarack Resort. This is a time lapse view from midnight last night. There you see the flames and we put it into motion. It just skies just lighting up. Incredible views here. These streaks of light as highway cars going down Highway 55. Watch in the morning. Smoke settles in and I believe we had fog in here as well. That was kind of mixed on in and then hazy conditions as we see even this afternoon. So still plenty of smoke around those fires. A little less coming down into the valley though, which is good news. Some cloud cover coming across south here. Folks in the Magic Valley, especially in the South Mountains, a slight chance of some thunderstorms, a 20% chance favoring southern sections, but you Notice that cooler weather to the north, which is certainly helps. And notice the, the computer model. You don't see fire be emanating from the Pollock, uh, the smoke emanating from the Pollock fire. These flames here are basically hot spots, and they're not really showing up in the, on the Apatic fire anymore. But notice here again the snag fire, lots of smoke being. Uh, contributed here. But as we go through the next couple of days, we don't see a tremendous amount of the valley. Again, tomorrow morning we're going to see it, but less smoke for the Magic Valley. By Monday, a lot of that smoke is going north and east, so the further east you go in the valley, less threat of getting smoke there. Slight chance for a storm near McCall tomorrow morning, and then we go into hazy sunshine, and then tomorrow night some storms will likely push into the west central mountains, and then Tuesday morning we see that there, and then Tuesday afternoon a slight chance of storms for the Treasure Valley as well. So a couple of disturbances coming through. The good news with these disturbances is going to bring cooler weather in and the temperatures are going to be dropping. Treasure Valley forecast for tomorrow. Temperatures not dropping yet. Mid 90s, 94 in Boise, 96 in Weezer. Hazy sunshine still hot in the McCall area. 83 tomorrow, 97 in Riggins for Sun Valley. I do expect it to be still warm with cloud cover in the morning. We're around 82 degrees in Sun Valley while in the Magic Valley tomorrow. A lot of clouds in the morning will break into hazy sunshine. Still above 90. Another hot day tomorrow, but it starts to change. Look at this extended forecast for the Magic Valley. Low 80s as we go through most of the week ahead. So comfortable temperatures coming in. And the same story in the Treasure Valley. 94 tomorrow, 86 on Tuesday. My Scott scores go up to a 10 on Wednesday. We've got a 10 on Friday and Saturday. It's a good looking week all the way into the upcoming weekend.